What's going on guys? Aguilar Shop back here again. This is Marco speaking with Steffi Blue once again in front of the show. Today she's got something to promote. Tell us what we got going on today. Um, I just released a book. A This is my poetry collection from 2017 to 2023. Um, I just did a, a book release plus an open mic. You know, staying to my roots. Um, love the Vegas open mic scene here. So lots of amazing community and poetry and art and music and everything um, Vegas has to offer. Yep. Awesome. So 17, 2017 and 2023, um, why now? Why is this being released now? Was it a timing thing? Do you feel like uh, you just want to get a collection of them and then, okay, now is the time? Like what made you want to release this now? It's because... Honestly, because I have so much more to give and I've been writing a lot more, especially this year. Uh, I've been very inspired and I feel like my poetry now has evolved quite a bit. So I really wanted to get some of my like older stuff and um, pretty much everything uh, kind of squared away and put into like a collection uh, that people can you know look at and read for themselves um, and make way for more pr like for more progress and more growth on my part so yeah yeah from what i saw so far is a lot of emotion in that i could tell you really put a lot of you know you is in there like you can read this like this is who i am this is who i was this is who i'm going to be with that said do you see yourself releasing um obviously there's a lot more to release down the line but do you see yourself releasing them similar to, to melancholy um, well, this being the first book I've released, uh, it was a learning experience for sure. Kind of got like the ins and outs on how to design a book, how to publish it, how to, I basically did a lot of it, the everything myself, um, you know, categorizing the poems and how I wanted it to be, how, how I wanted it to look. And so over time, you know, I think the next one that I do will definitely also be, uh, different because I'll, I have learned a lot more uh, in that time and especially with this but I, I'm really happy with how this book turned out in terms of like it being my first book and um, I'm excited to kind of uh, maybe explore even more into the zines and zine making and so the zines will uh, reflect my newer stuff until I amass more to put into a book and to kind of like you know, expand a, bu a bunch more, a, bu eh, a bunch more, <laughs> you know, getting tongue tied over here. Um, yeah, I've done a lot of talking today, so. <laughs> now, timeline wise, how long did it take, you know, from pen and paper to the final product? Like how long was that process? Well, well, I've been working on this, particularly this project for about a year and a half on and off. Um, kind of, you know, when my schedule arises, it kind of was like, okay, I really need to just get this. And, um, I would like go through nights where I would just kind of, uh, do the planning and do the thing. And once I had it actually already amassed and ready to be edited, um, it, that didn't take too long. Getting, getting to where it is now, um, it definitely like took over a year, um, to kind of, kind of, uh, because I was working on, on it on and off, not like dedicated the full time um probably could got it got it done in shorter because it is a small book uh the editing is what took the longest kind of to like format and put everything because it was my first time kind of working with that and working with software where I was editing and putting it all together and then the kind of the logistics of it um took some time too like oh how much does it cost how do I get an ISBN like all of that kind of um, came into it, but that took less time to kind of figure out than definitely putting it all together into a format that I wanted it. Now, for those young poets who uh, are aspiring to, to get to this point, or maybe they want to they want to put their stuff out but aren't not sure how, what would you tell to those who are having take quite taking that step to to put their content out there? I think definitely first thing is to join a community, get involved. Uh, I started out in an open mic 
and um, I've kind of like made myself known within those circles and I kind of met people and they kind of inspired me. Um, this book would not exist if it weren't for people who directly inspired me. Um, and I saw that they could do it. And then I was like, well, you know, what? I could do that too. And asking questions and kind of like getting, getting to a place where, you know, you do the, like do the work for yourself. Um, but it does take that initiative of, you know, joining the community and kind of being a part of that to keep yourself motivated and to like kind of get to that point. So yeah, if you're thinking about doing a book and anything, uh, I started with zines because they're kind of easy t and cheap to produce and you can kind of figure it out. And uh, there's workshops available. So, you know, um, people in your community are there to help you. And I think that's the most important resource to get started. One thing I would love to know while we have you here, could you read us something for Melancholy? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I mean, I've read a lot of stuff. Um, uh, I could probably do like a short piece if you guys yeah. want. Um, let me see. The... Is there something that would give the people a taste of what they can expect from this? Okay. Um, I started off with some of my short poems. Uh, and then I kind of like went into my, uh, it's actually in, in no particular order to the timing. It actually is in an order of, of what I felt was uh, like kind of the mood, for, so to speak. So I start with short poems and I go into my uh, regular poetry and then I have some long form poems or short story poems. Uh, and so I Di they're not in the order of when I wrote them. It's actually in the order of what I think the mood is of like how they kind of fit together. So um, in my in the beginning, uh, I start with like a, the first page is just the short story poems. They're all condensed into one um, because I didn't want to take too much space, to be honest. Uh, but I feel like this one kind of um, encompasses the the mood of the book because the book is called melancholy so you can expect some sad shit but i actually kind of like some of these because i feel like they hit in a specific way and so one of the first things is i take reverie in melancholy i used to be afraid of the future a future without you in it until the future found me and that particular one i feel sets the mood of you know that kind of uh, longing and loss and that's a kind of a theme that goes throughout this book um, so it's a, I feel like that was a good starter and that's why I put these poems in the order that I did is to kind of like set the overall tone awesome it's very inspiring um, got a taste of uh, what you've written uh, here tonight so for the people who want to follow your journey, want to see what you're all about, more importantly, um, where can they find a copy of your book? Yeah, so um, this copy right here, these copies, um, this particular cover is a special edition copy. There's only 50 of them. They're all signed. Once they're gone, they're not going to come back. Um, instead, in its place will be this regular copy that is going to be available on Amazon at some point. Um, but this one, to support your local bookstores, uh, we are at Avant Pop Books. So please come in um, and we they have a local and independent books bookshelf, dedicated bookshelf uh, for all the local uh, poets and artists and stuff. And you'd be supporting a you'd be supporting an amazing uh, community and bookstore and also, you know, like supporting like a local artist. So, yeah, definitely come you can only get this copy here um and this one will eventually be available on amazon but yeah you can follow me also for more uh, events i do open mics um i do so many poetry events and stuff like that uh, at steffi.blue that's my handle but yeah. right, Steffi, thank you so much for joining me once again consider a friend of hockey our shop i'm glad glad to have you here tonight uh love to join you in the future again a lot of things happening a lot of creativity thanks again melancholy check it out yeah. it's called happy birthday
it's a very old one too. I think it's like circa 2017, so. I can feel my mortality. It's harder to breathe. My bones ache bene beneath my weight. Soon the signs of age will show, reflecting the damage I've so recklessly imposed. Existential dread looms in my head. I'm not afraid of death. I'm afraid of dying. Slow and painful into old age or sudden cardiac arrest. Maybe a bullet to the brain, the sole survivor of a horrific accident. Tortured, murdered, or a fate worse, going mad with hallucinations as the dementia takes hold, slowly forgetting everything I know. No, I'm not afraid of the inevitable. I don't fear the unknown because the truth is, life is a form of slavery. Death is the only true freedom. We live lives of violent means shadowed by conflict and war, so in the end, we experience absolute peace. <laughs>